Let's do this. Let's play on our other save file. Since we have some stuff to unlock, you know? Scratch one off the fated list. Yeah. Got got some more some more to do on this one. Yeah, I can see that being being fun and that honestly it's let's like test the bond between us. Let's go Zeus, man. Let's just do it. Zeus on Zeus. Some Zeus on Zeus uh, goodness. Um Cause there's a bunch of games that I want to play, but it's like, ah, what am I going to do it, you know? Hey, Ducky, happy new year to you. How are you doing, my friend? <clears throat> so we are just about to the point of being able to get the second cloth or the second statue. So we could do, we could do that. Um, let's see. Tight deadline is fine. Middle management benefits package. Those are all just fine. And we're not even doing extreme measures. Four. Let's go. I'm excited. Let's go. It's so it's so interesting to think about and talk about. I think the way that that channel would work would be it would be primarily people kind of migrating from this channel. Mm, move forward. That's tough, man. I don't know. You, you, uh, you act like that's just a simple thing, but, uh, I would argue. Yeesh. All right. That's, uh, that's rough. seeing artifact huh ooh let's go let's go and get some some bonus darkness we want that bonus darkness so you search for it so what when when you search for that crafty what what uh what are like things that you're looking for other than just you know no no commentary no commentary gameplay is that is that all you say just like no commentary or is there is there more that you're looking for like i don't know it's it's uh <laughs> it's interesting the, the, the idea is very interesting to me more textia no problem more textia we're gonna play some uh we're gonna play some xcom later um, so if you, I hope you're I hope you're around, you know, we're we're leveling up this epic dash and it makes me think You know that we could do some fun things with our with our dash if we wanted to And just make it like a primary damage source if we wanted to 28 28 is a, is a solid amount of damage Oops, didn't mean to do that. My chaos boon evolved a new effect. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Mortexia. I appreciate that. You're truly, truly a channel a channel supporter. For for leaving <laughs> leaving it on in the background. I appreciate it. That sounded sarcastic, but I it's not sarcastic. It really is a big deal. Means a lot to me. I understand that we can't, we can't all, can't all be uh, watching all the time. Do I care about Demeter? Hmm. We could, yeah, let's do Demeter. Why not? Why not? What else can Demeter offer me? Hmm? Let's go, lads. Okay. 
Anyone, uh, anyone been watching the Wheel of Time show on Amazon? And if you have been, are you a fan of the books? And if you are a fan of the books, <clears throat> and you've been watching it, what have you thought about the the changes that the show has made from from the uh, <laughs> the shows made from the books, right? Because there's some there's some pretty big uh, not to not to be I don't want this to get spoilery, but I I am kind of curious if anyone wants to discuss that because I've I've been thinking about it and I don't I don't really know how to feel about some of the some of the things that they did like it's very odd in my opinion like I don't know I don't know why I don't know why they're doing what they're doing for for the show some of the things I do understand like they're making it a little bit more like it, it making it <clears throat> feel more socially relevant so they're changing a few of those things I don't care about those changes really like like, um, those are, those are to be expected, I guess, in most, um, Ready, Aegis. most shows and or, you know, like, I, I guess I just, I come to expect those types of things to, to be added in or changed, but like, there's some significant plot points that are very different, <coughs> very different, <laughs> I think. Uh, let's see here. We'll go for this. I want more Zeus. Like some more. Uh, maybe, maybe the, maybe the special. I mean, that'd be sweet. Ravenous will. Why, nephew, is this all some sort of jest to you? It isn't one that I appreciate. Yeah, I, I think I read the first five or six books. I want to say, um, and I had some I had some problems with it. Not so much like I read it in I read it in high school for the most part. I had a few like kind of annoyances with it that um, I think I've talked about them before, so I don't need to talk about them more. But. <laughs> It, it did kind of feel a little bit like, uh, yeah, there were just a few stylistic things that I weren't my favorite. But the show I've really enjoyed. <laughs> that is quite enough. That's qu quite enough. Yeah, yeah. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha, he says. Ha ha ha, indeed. It's more chaos, right? Hammer time. Hammer time. No. All right. Ooh, attack hits twice. Let's do that. We can stack up the the chill the chill stacks. Going in. Um. In the books, in the books, he's like super repetitive about some of you know with some of the things that he says. Uh. Let's see. What did I take? I took the bonus, bonus darkness and whatnot. We could do. Mm, let's go with the frayed flourish. Yeah, no, I, I um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the free Hermes actually. Like, there's like this like never-ending, like, just kind of like low-grade, <laughs> arg like these like silly arguments that happen between men and women in the in the world of of the wheel of time and like he just won't stop talking about it like and the women always all knew that the men were stubborn and idiots 
And the men, they all knew that the women were, you know, stubborn and idiots. And it's like, it's like really tiresome to hear him talk about it every single time. Murder? Every, every single time either men are alone doing something or women are alone doing something. It just got a little bit like, like why are we still, why, why, you told me about this last chapter, how the men and the women felt about each other, or like, or how the A.S. Sedai felt about the warders, or anything, right? Like, like, there's like, it's almost like, really like laying it on thick, the, uh, <laughs> the political spectrum. I don't know. Yes, PC. Kangman, how's it going? Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for coming and hanging out. But it's uh, the the Switch and the PlayStation and Xbox versions are all the same. Um, it all just depends on how far into the game you have progressed. Um, the game might look a little bit differently depending on on your on your on your progress, I guess. Um. I'm gonna go with the Palm Blossom. Let's do it. I do, I play with the PlayStation 4 controller. I like it. I like it well enough. Six encounters with bonus attack damage, let's do it. Thanks Kangman, I appreciate the, I appreciate the support and that you, and that you watch the videos. I should, I, I kind of feel like I should get the, I should get the game on another console. Like I have a Switch. But I actually don't even have Hades on the Switch. I have it on I have it on the Epic Game Store because that's what it came out on first, and then I bought it on Steam when it came out on Steam. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's so good, and I you know playing it playing it on the fly on the Switch would would also be fun. But at the same time, like I play it enough as it is. <laughs> I play it enough as it is, and I don't necessarily need to. Uh, Play it more, if you know what I'm saying. But anyway. A form of power. Oh, really? Kind of lags a little bit. That would be that would be annoying, but. Oh yeah, let's get this darkness. Oh baby. Not so much as think about it. Some, and we should get some some bonus. Oh yeah, 268, 268 darkness. Awesome. Hey yeah, don't forget to like the stream. <laughs> support the channel, like the stream. We're always uh, we're always looking for that support. You know what I'm saying? Always looking for some more people to support. We also have a Discord. If you want to come talk about Hades, I mean, some people still talk about Hades a bit. We talk about a lot of other stuff. We kind of just live live our lives together a little bit. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of more of a almost. It's become a little bit more of like a social hangout community than a purely Hades focused community, which I'm totally all right with. It's not frequent, and I still logged 80 hours or something like that. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, no, we're totally doing that. We're grabbing both of these. We're grabbing both of these. Juicy. You be quite done with shopping, Zagreus. Yes, yes, yes. Pressure points, or do we want to grab Artemis aid so that we can potentially get the duo boons? I think we'll take this for the duo boons. I I do like pressure points. I do want pressure points. I'm gonna borrow, borrow some of this. Toilet Skelly, Happy New Year! Sorry. <laughs> How the heck are you, Toilet Skelly?
yeah um anyway Yeah, I don't know if I'll actually end up... I'll probably end up putting it on the Switch since that's... I, I kind of want my kids to have a chance to play Hades a bit. And I don't know how often they'll actually play it on the computer. It all depends on if I end up getting... If I end up getting a... Uh, all depends on if I end up getting a second computer and, and like, give that to to Becky to, to have at her desk because then the kids might actually play games on her computer I just don't I don't know how often they'll play <laughs> they would play games on my computer if that makes sense there we go we didn't lose it at defiance can't can't believe it wasn't snowing didn't have to go to work oof yeah getting to work in the snow is is never fun right on how's the weather in Korea I'm curious. Yes, it is negative 25 right now where I live. Negative 25. There it is. Yeah. In the 50s and raining. Oh, man. I'm so jealous. Dionysus, I appreciate the support. Strong drink. Not even really a question. On a day like today. Snowing. Yeah, it's... We've gotten a lot of snow. I think we've got, like... In the last, in the last <coughs> month, we've gotten maybe 20, 20 inches. Is that? That's, I think it's possible that we've gotten twenty inches. It seems crazy when I say it out loud. We've had several, several fairly large uh, snow events. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had to, I bought a snowblower this, or I didn't buy one, I guess my, my mother-in-law as a housewarming gift bought us a snowblower and I'd never used a snowblower before, but I, I've used it several times, several times already this year. Nice. Lightning rod. Let's go. We got lots of lightning now. But yeah, snowblowers, uh, snowblowers are cool because they make such a clean line along the edge of snow, so you can really see how how deep it is, <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? Ooh, look at that. The damage is not bad. When when a, when a, when an enemy is stationary like that, the damage is really not bad. is like what I really need now is static discharge and Zeus's legendary. I think if I got if I got those things, man, we'd be we'd be in solid shape with all the lightning bolts that we're creating. That'd be something. Good morning, the Wooful Human. <laughs> oh man, you got a large hill driveway. That sounds rough. Yeah, we have a 
We have one of those driveways where you drive all the way past your house and like into the backyard where the, the garage is like in the backyard, which I've actually thought about like maybe it would be a good idea to get like uh, like so our, our garage is like at the back. But if we just if we move the door from this side of the garage to the other side that we could just use the alleyway to park. But I don't know if that's uh, I don't know if that's something that we should do. That would that sounds like a lot of work just to be able to not have to plow my driveway. Because <laughs> I think someone someone already plows our. Um, yeah, we'll just keep it. Someone already plows the uh, the alley, so we would just be able to you know. What a deal. Nice. Ooh, sixty nine darkness. Look at that. For us without... Yes. It'd be a lot of a lot of work for not a lot of benefit. Kingman, it is not it is not my full time gig. Um, that would be that would be cool. Maybe it, I don't know. Like I I've gone back and forth on whether or not that's really a goal that I'm that I'm striving for. I think it would be fun if that were the case. And maybe you know, obviously, like who knows what the future will bring for for me and. Uh, and life, right? Life is a life is a crazy, a crazy adventure. Um, but right now, no, it's not. It's not full time. It, it couldn't. It couldn't be full time. Uh, um. But yeah, for right for right now, it's uh, it's a hobby that makes uh, that you know. I'm I'm very lucky that it it makes a bit of income. Um. And I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, after your special hits, next two attacks deal plus 80% damage. That's really good. However, I do kind of want to do this uh, faded choice. I'll do the, I'll do the faded choice for the for the resources, the resource gains, uh, some health. I've often thought like, you know, like. You always wonder, like, what if I just quit my job? Like, could I, could I do enough? Could I do enough right now that that I could make a full time, a full time income doing this? And I, I don't think I could, uh, even if I were to spend all of my time, because my wife, my wife doesn't earn income. Um, she, she kind of manages the house, which sounds weird, but she also has a lot of health. Um, Issues and that makes it difficult for her to like go to work every day. Um, so I do that. I do that, and she kind of uh, manages everything else. And so I kind of need a job where I make. I don't have to make a ton of money, but like you have to make enough that uh, you know we can we can live and also put some money by for the future. And at the moment, at the moment, we're able to do that with my with my other job I'm a school counselor and that's that's my primary my primary gig uh, well well we'll go with that I think I guess sorry that was a really long-winded uh, answer to your question I suppose I should take I should always take the the shop Yes, we got Zeus anyway. Yes. Ooh, double strike. Double strike's very good uh, for what we have going on here. One of my boons got stronger. And we'll get some more Zeus. I'm excited about I'm excited about uh, Zeus right now. That's me. Where was your own armored suit? I would prefer not to do battle against one who's ill-equipped. You know, my father keeps the dress code very strict down there in Tartarus. No armor in the house. Never trying to stuff. Dress code. I too follow a code. And it's a code that strictly states I cannot let you pass without a fight. Nice segue back to why you need to fight me. I, uh, you know. Whoops, 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 whoops. It's a lot of lightning. That's a lot of lightning going on. A 
a lot of lightning going on. Whew. Well done. I yield. Lightning builds are... They just look so pretty, you know? Like, I feel like... There's something, there's something fun about, about all the, about all the lightning. All right, Static Discharge will give us Jolted, but, but more importantly, it gives us Privilege Status. So you want to pick it up so that you can get that 40% bonus damage. Okay, here's a, here's a question. For those of you, for those of you who like who like the holidays or who celebrate uh, Christmas uh, and the like, or even if you know, if not Christmas, then something something else in this in this time of the year. How long do you keep your Christmas tree or or decorations, other decorations up for the holidays? Do you? Yeah, what do you what do you do? Swift strike, sure. Can't do that. Because <clears throat> for us, let's get that bonus cast stone. I'm a, I'm all about it. Oh sure, we need we need some gems. We have the truth. Our plan this year is to leave our. <laughs> And this is not atypical for us. Uh, we're leaving our our Christmas tree up until uh, leaving our Christmas tree up until February 14th. Like try to try to be done with the Christmas tree by by uh, what Valentine's Day? Yeah, that's the name of it. But I'm curious what everyone else does, you know? It's an interesting... It's an interesting thing to think about. For me, anyway. Like I probably wouldn't keep it up as long, but it's it's kind of like a antidepressant in some ways for Becky. Like having having like a, a happy, cheerful uh, tree up, which I I appreciate and I get it. I get it. Coming down this weekend, yeah. I, I get that. See, that's kind of the way I feel too. Like our our main living area is is somewhat. It's not. It's not that it's super small, but like every every area has its like has its like purpose. And so when you ooh glacial glare, that's kind of cool. Go, go glacial glare. Glacial glare. Oh, and we fulfilled a prosophy. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> JPED, are you, uh, are, do you have other ideas? Looks like a good batch. Good enough to eat. That was when I lived with my mom, usually Valentine's Day, we would take it down. Previous job, I had a coworker that left his tree up all year in a spare room. <laughs> Go in there when it's time to celebrate. Wow, exactly. I, I had a friend who did that too. Um, when I was in like second grade, we lived in Rhode Island and and some of our neighbors down the road, they kept a tree tree up all, all year long and they would change the directions. ridiculous than normal wearing that mask. I get the chariot and the unsporting weaponry, but why wear that thing? This blessed mask was crafted by great Daedalus himself. A work of art. It's really lazy. Titled claim as champion. What has he ever done for you? All right, 
right, so here's here's the question. Is it better to just leave leave the the cast stones in the middle to <coughs> to to just do lightning damage or is it better to have the probably the lightning is better cuz like if it's pointed the wrong way, you do no damage. Yeah, I think I probably would want to take down the tree, like, soon. But yeah, I think Becky would Becky would revolt. She would revolt against that idea. Um, yeah, we'll leave the leave the, the palm blossom on. Sounds like fun. Leave it on. Got it. But yeah, they had like the tree had like. Halloween decorations and Easter decorations and Thanksgiving decorations. It was funny. It was it was novel. But I always thought it would be cool to have a house where a tree, not necessarily a Christmas tree. Not necessarily a Christmas tree, but a tree was was growing through the middle of the house, you know, like I always thought that would be kind of cool. Always thought that'd be cool. So it seems like, based on like comments that I get on on the videos about Zeus Shield, <coughs> Zeus Shield is one of the more polarizing uh, weapons. Like some people really like it, and then a lot of people really really dislike it, which is interesting to me. Very interesting to me, because like I don't I don't uh, have a strong well. I, I guess I would just say I, I like it. I feel like it's pretty strong. But a lot of people just, they really, really dislike the way it works. That's right. Uh, pressure points are, is probably good. I could also roll to try to get um, the Debonair Artemis duo boot. Ah, let's just go pressure points, try to get more more crits and then maybe we'll get hunter's mark with this next one hunter's mark whoops Why not? there it is that's what i'm talking about you get hunter's mark and pressure points and one other uh source of this way. one other source of crit one of artemis's boons and oh baby you got a uh, you got something special Feeling pretty safe there. Whoops. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that damage just stacking up. Fantastic. strength
Anyone have any New Year's resolutions that they want to share today with the whole world? Because here's the deal. Here's the way. Here's the way it works. I hear, according to psychology. Uh, people, people who set up goals and tell other people about it do much better at them than people who just set goals privately. So, in the in the description for the video, I put some of my my 2022 goals uh, so that you you know you know what my goals are and uh, you can you can hold me accountable to them. Right? That's what, uh... <laughs> that's what we're doing. Unknown Avenger, how the heck are you, man? Good to see ya. Glad you could make it in for a little bit. First child! Right on! Vito, that's amazing. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. You'll have to. We'll have to. <laughs> when you when you have your first kid, we'll we'll talk sometime. Curtis, happy New Year to you. Long. Good morning. How the heck are you? You come here bearing Brother Zeus's aegis. I wonder how much more insulting you could be. <laughs> what? I haven't even started to insult you here yet, Father. Flustered by the old shield of chaos, then. Doubtless Zeus does not even remember wielding it. I never should have relied on him for anything after that. Then come. Let's see if you're any better with it than your great uncle. Take all the advice you can get. I mean, I don't know if I have, like, great advice, but... You know, just to kind of, like... Talk about... I don't know. Just... I mean, I guess there's, there's already a lot of great... <coughs> There's a lot of great resources out there already that talk about, you know, what what it's like or that whole like what to expect when you're expecting business, you know. Happy New Year, nerds! Happy New Year, nerds! <laughs> so nice, uh, Becky is so nice. Don't I sound cool with my mouth guarded? <laughs> she sounds so cool. Anyone else have a cool mouth guard they wear at night times for jot hunting that makes them talk like they've just got their first retainer in middle school? <laughs> D quarantined. Quarantined but not not isolated. So you've just been exposed, not uh not Exposed, not necessarily infected. I learned that recently. Overtime shifts. Oh, you caught COVID. Oh, no. Oh, you actually caught COVID. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That stinks. Lame. That was cool, though. Lame Did you see that, dam that damage? No, that's super lame. Well, JP will be here tonight to keep your, your COVID self entertained although you should probably not stay up you should probably just go to bed have some soup you I have mean, one too crafty aren't they cool don't you feel like such a grown-up when you wear a mouth guard at night such a grown up. <laughs> i feel like such a grown-up when i have my such mouth grown-up my new one's really tight so i actually kind of i don't really want to take it out yet and you're supposed to clean it with your toothbrush Right when you take it out, I'm not supposed to like set it down until I'm ready to brush it. <sighs> funny. I think it's funny that when you first started this YouTube channel, I like wouldn't even go on camera if I didn't have makeup on. And now, now I'm like, how things change. I don't care about that. 